Hey there, Boots Owen here. A Bosch Classic 7 tumble dryer, a condenser unit. I found it. We're gonna have a quick look at it, see what we think before we turn it on. Bosch Classic 7, the water drawer there. A tiny bit in it, not too bad. Can't see how it's filled back there, but presumably there's a hose going up over on the left. Inside, it's a bit rusty down here. This has blue circles on it. Likewise, a lot of blue in here, which suggests it was used to clean or to dry jeans that maybe hadn't been washed very many times. Filter, let's have a look. Oh, that's not good. Right, so the filter isn't meant to come apart in two halves. Might need to mend the bottom of that or get a new one if the machine is working. Put that back together. Inside, bit of dust. Uh, looks to be quite thick, so that's probably down to this enormous crack in the bottom. That could be mended with tape in the short run, if you're worried about it. The door seal here has a big bit chewed out of it. Not sure what's going on there. It looks like animal, I would say. Dog or that. Down here, there's a lot of rust, and it looks like this kind of wear marks on the silver, silver gone through the paint, which suggests the door is a bit bent. Uh, down here, it seems to be sitting in a pond of wet. Doesn't look like it's not closing correctly. I don't know there what's going on. In here is the condenser unit. Little door folds down, two tabs. And that is, no, oh, it's a bit, it's not meant to come apart like that. It's a bit loose. Full of fluff on that side where it shouldn't be. What does it look like from the back? You can see some daylight in there, but not much. It's not gonna help. That's where the air comes down there and it goes into the back there. Okay, this is a candle for a clean up. It looks like that comes apart somehow. We'll have to have a look at that in greater detail. Okay, let's give that a clean. Lots of glitter in there. So what model are we? WTE 84106GB slash 48. 9601, does that make it 2006? I think, don't know, WDT2, WTE 84106GB. Lots of numbers there. What do you think? Should I give it a try? Let's clean this out first. Hmm, that needs a clean, that's for sure, okay. And then in here, there's another one with a handle. Sometimes these are connected. In fact, this is the first one I've ever seen that's joined together, but that is definitely a bit dusty. So that side's clean. That side is not. The back is also a bit snotty. I've got a selection of bottle brushes here. Let's crack on. These things don't mind getting wet. Their whole job is to make water out of air. I'm trying to run it through from the other side here. I don't want to push this dirt in. I want to pull it out, so. It's actually pretty clean already. Don't know if you can see that, you can. Some little bits in it, we'll come back because we'll allow them to be wet first and then come back to them. Now on the back, anything we can get out by hand first. We'll move on to my smaller brush and I'm trying to push it from the back to the front rather than push it through from the front to the back. Sometimes they don't come apart as easy as this and you've got to work because that scoop is attached to the front, you've got to push it all through. Makes it tricky. But 
clearly this brush doesn't go the whole way. So I'll need to attack it from the other side as well, but we can. We can get a brush with a longer handle. Should really have thought about should really have thought about catching this in a bowl because it's gonna clog my brains up otherwise. Got the other side still. can scoop it out like that it's better to scoop it out than to push it down okay we'll see through Almost, not bad now. Couple of bits. There's one big gob in the bottom there, see if I can get it out this way. It's in there still. It's just caught, if you can see it. There it is, popped out. And a bit over here. So I can see that that's pretty clear now. And then this bit here, just see if we can get the last bit of stuff off that. to see but we can give that a blow through with compressed air see if any more comes out this pot hasn't caught anything now here it was quite blocked that could be just wiped off by hand really
So I've got compressed air in this gun. I just want to shoot this out and see if anything comes out. Maybe a bit, but pretty clean. Likewise in here. There's no obligation. There's no obligation to dry this before you put it back in the machine. It's going to get wet in there anyway. Back up here. I'm just going to wipe this out. Get the dust out with a damp cloth. Any dust you can get out is useful because it stops it getting into the condenser. It stops it blocking everything up again. See what I can do some dough as well. Now these these side passage vents are a little bit chocked full of dust, but I'm not entirely sure that they wouldn't be anyways because they're before the filter. So let's try if I can get something in there. Wow, that's some quite a gob there. If it's like this here, I wonder what it's like around the back at the element. I might check that before I do anything with it. See one more little bit in there. Right, that's out. So, offer it up, push it in. That one goes all the way in, and then this one goes in here. I had a comment recently from someone who couldn't get this to close, and if you haven't got it to close, it means there's something either blocking it or you're putting it in wrong. It doesn't need to be dry. Um, you could dry it, you could leave it dry out, but it doesn't. It really doesn't matter, because it's going to get, the front won't get wet again, but the um, all the insides of it will have that damp water flowing over it. As for this thing, I'm going to clean it and get a bit of tape on it that uh, won't do like that. This is ProGaff tape, but it's largely lost its adhesiveness, and that's why I'm using it here. As you can see, its piece was pretty much dead, but uh, it should stick enough for the point of this job. just to seal up that bottom bit there. Put it along the bottom, I'll fold it around the sides. And if I'm going to do it properly, I would normally do it with something like the rubber from Bicycle Inner Tube. But that'll seal it for now, for purposes of testing this machine. So I've plugged it in, put it all back together, and uh, do you think it's going to work? I don't know. It's got a flashing light. We're halfway there. Cotton extra dry. Um, I'll put on timed program. That's a good start. There's nothing in it, so it might overheat. Not overheat, but shut itself off because there's nothing in it to dry out. It does seem to be working. I'll take the top off and we'll have a look inside and see how dusty it is. Of course you shouldn't take the top off whenever it's turned on and live and everything else. Of course not. That would be silly. It's pausing and tumbling the other way. It's all good. So as tumble dryers go, it's not covered in dust everywhere. pipe does come up over there into that corner it's more discreet some models of machine have them coming up the back Samsung for instance one I've just worked on power comes in down here so this gray cable goes into this suppressor unit there's a live and a neutral here there uh, if I was to touch them it wouldn't be good for me it says 250116 on that over there that's got some kind of sponge or something on it Oops, we're off again some kind of sponge presumably for noise dampening or keeping heat in, one or the other. Now what I need to do in a couple of minutes is just to 
Check, see if it's getting warm. If I touch the back there, I don't feel anything. I don't feel any heat down here either. So I'm guessing the element might be knackered. So after about three or four minutes, it beeped a few times and went to end. It probably detects that there's nothing in it, but let's see. I can't feel any heat in there, so it's not heating. It's warm. Um, let's just put it onto extra dry before I... Hmm. So I better turn it off, maybe. Extra dry. Good. Give it a few minutes to extra dry and see what happens. There's scrape marks on this rubber. It looks like it looks like it got something caught and scraped in there. It's rubbing off something. It looks like that felt seal on the back, perhaps. So after a few minutes in that cycle, I don't think it's getting warm at all around the back. Let's open it up and see stop I don't feel I don't feel any rush of heat coming out of there so let's have a look underneath at the back so I've taken the screws out all around this insulated back panel it should come off I need to just help it sometimes I have a gasket or something in here to seal them on in fact this one needs a lot of help it's quite stuck actually glued on pretty well. There we go. Clean. It's clean in there. Evidence of snots at the bottom once upon a time. The elements up at the top there. So that's not so that's not hot and it's only a few minutes since it was running so it should be if it was gonna be. So this box up here is the element and there's two thermal sensors up on top, thermal fuses you might call them. This one, in fact, looks to be a temperature thing, and that looks to be a thermal fuse. So for the thermal fuse, if we set the multimeter to noise, uh, resistance, continuity, turn it on. We should be able to just check with this. The fact that it's beeping tells me I've got power going through there. That looks like a thermal sensor, so I don't know what would be going on there. So I better have a look at the element and see if it's damaged. I think to get this off, I have to take off the cover below. So there's the cover, there's a screw up here and a screw down here, and this lifts off. Did I mention I plugged it out? How does this come off? It's got the screw, two screws on the bottom here. Let's wiggle out. Oh, yep. Hold it down. Now there's some big gobs in there. Look at that. Wow, they're quite unique pellets of goo. There's definitely signs of stuff being stuck in there. So let's get this, if we could, disconnected. I think I can disconnect it inside and pull it through the grommet up there. So the element cables come in through the wall, the back wall, through that rubber grommet. They're clipped on here, unclip that. And then there's a mounted, wall mounted clip on the side of the tumble dryer couple of plugs which disconnect somehow that must disconnect there then get a screwdriver in on it lifts up another plug holding the wires on I think that's just gonna get pushed out there we go just force it out not good for anyone now does that grommet come out somehow or is it bonded in as well there we go it's out if it would come out then would this slide out Look at that, wonderful. So here it is on my filthy workbench mat and it's got a layer of crust on it. It's got this gray sensor, black sensor, and then it's got this silver one covered in what looks like silver flakes glitter or fish scales or something. Taking a look at this, you can see this area here looks like burning, not a great sign. So I can see that there are three wires coming in, presumably for a high and a low element. And the blue goes to the 
thermal fuse first if it is a thermal fuse or a cutout i don't know if it's cut out or resettable or what let's get that multimeter back so if we have continuity then it should beep so let's check from the blue through the blue to the first one from the blue wire through the ntc thing to the first one not ntc thermal cutout i think the other one is a we're getting open oh we're getting open circuit there no we're getting something we're getting open on the second one are we so that's the gray cable that's not good not good can i open this normally the answer is yes how to do it carefully it's just looking in there oh dear right there's a big hole blown in it we can see that's probably what's wrong with it you can see this element here shouldn't be hanging loose like that yikes yeah i think i'm gonna open it up i don't know if there's much repairing in this as it stands so there's little tabs all along here i'm just bending out of the way Probably best to wear gloves for this, because sometimes these bits are sharp. Likewise on the other side. Now, that should lift off, I'd say. There we go, click. Oh dear, it's taking the mica sheet with it. Looks like that's what it does, however, so, yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, with the mica sheet, it still has the burn hole. That is past it. So, yeah, look at that. This is a bad fail for one of these tumbles. Could I fix it? Probably. Yeah, there's bits of element falling out there as we look at it. It lifts out and that comes out like that. Don't know if you can buy the element on its own. This shouldn't disintegrate in my hands. It should be stiff like this side here. You can see there's a high element up here um, on this side with fatter element um, wires and the low element appears to be thinner wires. But that's like that's broken and that's the issue there. The power can't get through it to heat it up. Um, if the power Actually, that's probably what those scales that were in the machine were, bits of mica that had blown through. Yeah, that's completely knackered. I'd say a bit of wet stuff got in there and wet all the micro mica, and uh, if it is mica, I presume it's mica. Let's price up getting a board for this. Not a board, uh, a unit. So you can buy them. I used one's 28 quid on the internet, and a new one is around 50. I'm not sure if it's worth it. It does have a pin-out legend here. So if you look at that, you've got NTC is 1 and 2, so that's the temperature sensor. Then you've got B9, E1 and E2. Um, B9 must be some kind of a earth, not an earth, but a neutral. And E1 and E2 presumably are elements 1 and 2. Uh, I could take a part number from that and try that, search for that actually. 9351734. So the best I can get with that element number is um, 98 or 99 quid, which is far too much money. Could I rebuild this is another question. I have some other elements knocking around. I guess you could. I guess you could try, but it's it's a different shape to some. It's more slimline, uh, shorter and longer. It makes it tricky. Um, you don't have anything here to work with. Because the element's broken, you'd have to build your own mica sheet it, it, you know it's always possible at some level but i would never want to sell a machine even I, I wouldn't even want to give a machine away that i had home brewed the element on and at the moment i dry my laundry with a gas tumble dryer and i also have just recently acquired a heat pump tumble dryer that seems to work so i don't know what to do there i think that one's kaput i think i'll take the sensor off it the reason it's expensive i think is because it's a whole unit with a plug and a rubber grommet and all that stuff that makes them more expensive if you could just get this internal element which is really all you want 
but because the way those things are staked over they don't tend to sell them separately so let's think through the failure mechanism first um i think just from what i've seen the element broke on the filter the filter element the filter itself broke along that bottom seal dust got in once dust goes through gets caught in here it goes through the machine goes through the fan little bits of dust and then that dust built up and got wet probably i don't know maybe it didn't get wet but it caused a fire caused this thing to short itself out and burn out and that's it bad filter broken filter dead element for me to repair this machine using used parts will be 28 quid for the for this new unit this new heater heater element and about seven quid for a new filter brings us up to 35 plus my labor labor doesn't have a cost arguably do i want the machine for myself not really what do i think i found a code on the drum there is uh, 2016 so it's a seven year old machine thereabouts six seven years old not very old machine to have a dud element 28 quid's not much to fix it it's very hard to know what to do but because of that rust on the bottom of the front door because of this rust on the bottom of the front door it would make it incredibly difficult to sell and that is that what do you think i should do should i fix it spend 35 quid on a machine that i arguably wouldn't get 35 for would find difficult to sell or maybe we'd get 50 quid for maybe 100 i don't know i don't know i could put it up on ebay as it is say it's definitely got a broken element take a photo of that throw it all into the inside and just bung it back together somebody might want it for parts you know the door's got a value the drawer's got a value the condenser's good and clean now hmm questions or comments what do you think leave them below thanks for watching see you later